Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Easley save. Now before we jump into things as always make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to make sure you get all the good stuff that will be coming out over the next few weeks. But let's jump into things. So we are flying. We are on form. We've continued to be on form. I I, I can't quite believe what's going on to be quite honest. Um tactics wise we've stuck with the 442 and we've absolutely been fantastic with it it's it's amazing <laughs> to be quite honest we have signed Callum Rowe permanently now um he as i mentioned before i wanted to try and keep him on loan for the rest of the season unfortunately it was basically the case that they didn't want to loan him out again so i offered them to take him off their hands permanently and they accepted. So we've got Callum Rowe, 22 years old. Decent, decent little player there. Uh, I'm I'm happy with his signing. I have to say, he's only 22, so we've got plenty of years in him. And he can still improve slightly. He's got some good physicals there. I mean, and again, technicals are great. Some good tackling, passing technique, and some crossing, which is very good, uh, which we'll take. He has got a slight issue with injuries and consistency as well um, and he's not great in the air which is quite funny considering our team's fantastic in the air so you know got to balance things out a little bit but um that's that's kind of where we're at uh otherwise Tyron Barnett is still our top goal scorer he's been fantastic this season I have to say um which is if anything a bit of a surprise he's only deemed a north Venerama north slash south side player but He's been very, very good. But we've had Enoch Asante has give, been given a new contract for an extra year. So he's going to be with us till 2024, hopefully. Um, he's nine goals and 14 appearances for us so far in the league. He's been brilliant. Uh, to be quite honest, uh, the boys have been fantastic uh, throughout this season so far. Alex Winter has finally come back from injury. So he'll be he's in the side now. As a fringe player, I mean, he might not stick around for very long, unfortunately. But he was very useful to play in a couple of games recently, as um, or a game recently, as he we did have injuries. As same with Andrew Boyce as well. Um, he's getting on a bit and maybe not quite what we need at the back. So we might have to look at that side of things. Uh, Joe McDonnell, um, again, he's been very good. Maybe we want another backup keeper or a replacement keeper, something like that, as Ross Flitney is obviously, he's a coach at the club, so he's good to have there as a backup, but it might be more beneficial to kind of have someone who's a bit more high quality and he can focus on coaching. We'll see. Uh, but schedule-wise, we've had a few games in the meantime. After our 3-0 thrashing of Torquay, we beat Weymouth 2-1, uh, Asante and Barnett getting the goals there. We won in the FA Trophy, uh, the fourth round, sorry. Uh, getting a 3-2 win over Yeovil. Uh, that was in added time that we managed to get that win. Asante in the 95th minute. Uh, a draw against Dover, uh, which was a bit of a frustrating one, really. We, we just didn't quite catch the form that we were hoping for. Uh, then Chesterfield, we beat 4-1. A very comfortable victory. Asante getting on the score sheet again. He's just, since coming back from injury, he's been brilliant. Uh, again, getting a goal against Halifax to kind of draw the game. Another game that was frustrating because we could have won that. Uh, a 2-1 win against Maidenhead, which was pretty comfortable, really. They scored in the 85th minute, but wasn't really any concern. And then a 3-0 win against Yeovil was there as well. Whitehall, Asante and Kavan Miley get in the goals. Uh, that was, a, I mean, I was very happy with that result considering the team we had to put out. It was very much a rotated side because, um, yeah, the boys were just knackered. Uh, it, it was only three days after the game against Maidenhead, so... There was, and they'd played a lot of games. So we did have to bring in Andrew Boyce in winter, along with Bradshaw at the back, to sit with Vince Harper at the back there. But um, they were they were very good. Kavan Miley scored a lovely little dinked finish as well. So that was nice to see. Uh, and then finally, we had Villaricky in the fifth round of the FA Trophy. So we're through to the quarterfinals, as we did beat them 3-2 in extra time. Um, we kind of made it a bit hard for ourselves, I think, really. Um considering how how we could have performed but it's fine we're through we've had a, a nice seven day break till Notts County who are obviously second in the league who will be playing today uh, you can see we have got the game in hand still and we're two points clear at the top so this could really almost cement the the road to victory for us um, 
Dover is still on zero points. Unfortunately, after their 12-point deduction, only winning one game all season, but drawing against us. So we were, we were being nice to them. That's that's why, sure. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll jump into the game, I think. I think that's pretty much all we need to update you on. Tom Blair is back from loan. Uh, he's come back from his loan with Salisbury, where he played. Um, he's been all, most of this season. He's He did all right there. Got six assists and 23 appearances, 7.15 rating, not bad. So he can be, he's in the squad for now. Uh, he might not stick around for very long, but he's there. He's, it's, it's what we need. He's 22 years old, bit of bit of time on his side anyway but let's jump into the team uh this is the lineup we'll go for i showed you a little bit uh, a moment ago mcdonald in goal hair o'connor magoma and Rowe, who's now a permanent signing sitting at the back there with pearson whelan heskith and pritchard in the midfield and then ben house and asante up top 17 and 14 goals for them together it's I mean, they, they've been absolutely smashing it. And Barnet as well with 18 goals isn't too shabby at all. Whitehall's even got eight. So, I mean, our strikers are all on form, which is brilliant. Because it means that we can just swap them in and out. And we'll be getting the goals. We'll be getting all the goals we need. So, let's jump into the game uh, and see how we get on. So, an early start for Notts County, who have got the ball on the right-hand side. Uh, Kelly Evans with it, cutting inside from that side. And... From that side, shall I say side a couple more times? I've said that a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Rowe, though, with the ball, um, having won it off Notts County, we're able to come forward with it. Uh, the, I think this is the reason why I've been kind of trying to have a look at why we're doing so well. So, obviously, we've been trying to exploit the, the kind of heading and target forward roles that our, a lot of our players are very good at and the size advantage we have. There it is, off the bar. Can House put it in? No, not quite. It um, looks like it was a foul he's caused there, but not a bad start. Yeah, so it's it's one of those where I think it's because, because we've changed the midfield to be deeper, the centre midfield anyway. Um, our main threat is coming from the fullbacks, really. Uh, and that also with then the support of the wingers. Uh, that's been cleared off the line. It stopped dead on the line after hitting the post. That's the weirdest thing. Um, so I think we're basically very solid defensively. And then we look to break on the wings and cross the ball into the box. And that's what gives us those those opportunities that we get. Um, but Rowe with the throw in here to Pritchard. Back to Rowe, who's going to probably look for Pritchard again. Yep. Yeah, and across into the box. There it is. House with the header. And it's over the bar. See, if we... The amount of headers we do get and opportunities we get through that sort of play just shows that we could be beating teams by a lot more goals. But... So far, so good. We're, we're looking quite comfortable at the moment. Nothing too much to worry about. And Rowe does well to cut it out there. Magoma with the ball back to Rowe on the left-hand side. Hesketh dictating the play in there as well. But you can see the kind of deep centre midfielders sitting in front of the defence. Then we've got the, the wide players really starting to uh, get on the ball and get the ball forward as well. So Rowe's driving down that left-hand side with Hesketh. We're not rushing things, which is nice. It means that we're, we're keeping hold of the ball quite comfortably. Um, no pressure to go forward too quickly either, which is also good. So Rowe into house. He's got a bit of space to turn and run at the defence now. He takes it past one man. He's on the edge of the box. Strikes, and it is an absolute peach of a goal. Lovely strike. Top right-hand corner. Rowe found house in a bit of space after some just holding onto the ball. We kept that ball so well in there. Uh, he was able to kind of get away from his centre-back uh, in front of the referee. He <laughs> manages to take it past after turning the defender and rifles it in. That's 1-0, 20 minutes in. That is a great start for a game where we're playing second in the league. It gives us a five-point gap and a game in hand, which, I mean, you can't, can't ask for much more than that at this stage in the season, especially as there's not long to go now, only I think 13 games left in the season, something like that. Uh, as we reach half time, it's one nil. The boys are sticking to the plan and doing very, very well. Uh, let's see though, Tom Whelan, we could take off for Kevin Miley. Who's been very, very good actually over the last couple of ga games. Like I mentioned, he got a lovely little dinks finish over the keeper and won uh, his first goal of the season. And he's been dictating play in there quite nicely. 
uh, working very, very hard. So we'll give get him on the pitch. Uh, but Vincent Harper's got a bit of work to do now with Kelly Evans. It's blocked and O'Connor's able to head it clear. Pearson lofts it on a bit further, but House isn't quite able to get there as Notts County come forward again. Uh, they've got plenty of players there, but we've got plenty of players back as well. But they've played it round the corner, is turned. Watton through on goal and Watton Wooten. Woot, I'm going to say Wooten because I think that's more more in line with his name because Watton's only 1-0, I think. But there's a goal. They've scored. Uh, it's It was quite a nice goal, but I think Magoma probably should have done a little better there. I think it was Magoma in here. Uh, where he's kind of let the player run. In, like, he sees him. He's in front of him. It's not like he's run behind him. He's in front of him. So he should really be reacting a bit better to that, um, which level things up. But, that again, that's absolutely fine. As long as we don't lose, we've got so much more, so much of an advantage on Notts County. They have to come out and win this game. Um, Hesketh with a switch of play into Pearson. The ball's won by Lee, but O'Connor finds it again and... I mean, he's just punted that clear. I don't think there was any direction as to where he was trying to look to get that ball. But that's fine. That's no problem. Um, <laughs> Lee again on the ball on the left-hand side. Uh, coming forward. Wooten again. Francis through to Roberts. Roberts is through on goal. It's a lovely challenge by Vincent Harper, I believe. Let's just double check. No, it was Rowe. Of course, Vincent Harper's not even on the pitch. Um, Rowe with a fantastic challenge to stop that goal. Uh, and it does allow us to stay in the game at 1-0. Uh, ball in by Josh Hare. Asante at the back post with the header, and it's over the bar. We maybe should have made a bit more of that than we have done. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, Ryan Hill maybe to come on for Harry Pritchard and put Pearson over to that side for now. Um, I think we'll leave it at that. I think that's absolutely fine to do. But 1-0. 15 minutes to go. We're looking very positive. They have looked the more likely to score as of late. So maybe we just drop to cautious. Um, and don't need to push as many players forward when we do. Um, just to allow us to keep hold of that. But it's nodded down by Ben House um, to Asante. He's got a lot of work to do here. But he keeps hold of it well. Pearson's supporting him. Um, back again to Jake Hesketh. And again to Rowe. Who looks down the line to Pearson. Here we go. Lovely bit of football to work something here. Pearson lays it off to Hesketh, who looks back again to Rowe, who gets a touch out to the left. Back to Hesketh again, who turns and crosses. Ben House on the header. I mean, what a lovely ball by Jake Hesketh. He's received that there. I mean, we've seen that a few times already this season, where Jake Hesketh received it from the winger or the fullback, um, turned and hit that right-footed cross into the box, uh, allowing our strikers to run onto it, rather than it being a static jump, that he's whipped it in and he's been able to just move. It forces the defenders to turn back on themselves, basically. Uh, and that's, I mean, it's great for us. That's for sure. Let's um, let's take Ben House off. We'll whack on Danny Whitehall for the last nine minutes. I know he's got two goals, so he's probably a bit annoyed that we haven't let him try and get a hat-trick. But I'm ha I, you don't need a hat-trick when we're going to win the league. Hopefully, um, <laughs> still not totally optimistic, but there you go. That is it. Full time, two one Eastley. A fantastic result. Hesketh with a great assist. Rowe as well there, and Ben House with the two goals for us today. The boys are looking very motivated. They look very, very positive with the result. We have five points clear now at the top with a game in hand. We're absolutely on fire. Absolutely smashing it so far in the league. Twenty four. Games unbeaten for us so far. I mean, that's that's quite impressive. I really am I'm impressed. We've only lost one game all season, and that was against Barnet early on. And I'm kind of gutted that we've lost that now because we've absolutely smashed it so far this season. We'll have to see if we can keep it to the one loss all season. I don't want to jinx it too much, but I think I think we can do it. I think we can do that with the the performances we've put in there. Ben House has just pipped Tyron Barnet to the top goal scorer at the moment. Uh, and Josh Hare smashing in the assists. As I mentioned, he's the right back. That's where a lot of our assists are coming from. Uh, you can probably, you might be able to see that in the data hub somewhere. But if we look at the players, you can see aerially, defensively, uh, our centre halves are absolutely smashing it. Christian Magoma's up there with Stefan O'Connor, which of course you'd hope and expect. Uh, and then forwards as well. Again, Eno Casante, Ben House. Tyrone Barnett, all up there. I mean, Michael Cheeks up there along with Bloxham. But all our boys are in 
almost in the lots of headers and strong headers which is great to see um shooting as well i mean we're very clinical we danny whitehall tony barnett and asante ben house all very very clinical probably the most clinical in the league which is absolutely excellent to be quite honest um but yeah so i'm very very happy with how things are going um schedule wise i think we might we've obviously got an fa trophy quarter final against telford which we might come back for or we might come back for the semi-final i might if we manage to get through otherwise we might look to come back for maybe the wrexham game or the aldershot game depending on kind of how things go because aldershot are third and it's a bit of a rivalry match so we might come back for that one um but there there you go thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed as always make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one